Hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this week's video this is to talk about another experience I got to experience when I was in Korea and that was get my tattoos. Um, I have three tattoos that I got in Korea that I will plan on expanding when I go back. Um, I never got any tattoos back here, uh, mainly because the artists I liked were all overseas or in Korea. So yeah, I thought I'd briefly talk through my experiences with them. I didn't get to film any footage, mainly because they didn't really allow me to. At the same time, I was really anxious, so I didn't really want to ask permission. So I want to just talk you through them. And I thought the first thing I'd do is obviously show you my tattoos because you might have caught sight of them in some of my videos, but I've never really showed you guys them. Um, they're all on my right arm. I do plan on getting some sort of a sleeve going you know in the next 10 20 years I'm not in a rush a few of these I had thought about for a long time onto my tattoos they're not that big I have three um, the first one is this one here it is my family name um, I got it both as a tribute to my grandfather who passed away and to just kind of pay tribute to my family essentially because um, fun fact this is my family name and I my, well, also my last name which is also not my mom's last name or my dad's last name it's actually my grandfather's last name so yeah that's a long story for another day that's the first one I got along with this one here it's gonna be really hard to show you um, it says there is beauty in the battle it was something that my friend prayed and preached about a while ago and it always stuck with me and to me it's kind of like the message of there's always good in the bad and always look for the good um, and also a reminder that everybody's fighting a different battle um, but we can always strive to see the good in it. Last one I got and the most recent one is this little cat here. Um, I mentioned in my Q&A video that my cat Ralph had died so this is actually him. This is Ralph um, on my arm right here. He has a little bit of color on him. I'll do a close up. Um, it has color on his eyes and nose but generally my tattoos are black and I kind of want to keep it black and white themed for as long as I can. I want to start with finding a tattoo artist. I obviously had followed both these tattoo artists on Instagram for a very very long time. I loved their work. I love their fonts. I love their style. Um, especially this kitty cat one. I really love the delicateness he brings to the image. Um, so yeah yeah, um, you find them on Instagram. That is probably the place that they share most of their work um, and is very, very active there. And then you contact them. Most of these um, artists will go through Kakao Talk, so if you have that app, you can just add them on their ID and send them a message. I would say that about like 50% of them will know some level of English. Most of it would be really basic, um, so if you aren't confident in Korean, I do urge you to communicate with them in English, um, just so that way you can get a clearer idea of the design. Um, I talked to both of my artists with Korean um, because I was learning Korean at the time and it was kind of like an opportunity for me to improve on that so I messaged them um, I let them know what I wanted and I want I asked them how much it is and when I could get them done the things that surprised me about getting a tattoo in Korea is a it was not as expensive as I thought and B it was really really easy to get a booking obviously some artists are different but um, both of these pieces that I got done um, well not like these three pieces I got done I literally booked them about one to two weeks before hand while here in Australia I know if you want to get a tattoo you have to book sometimes months and months beforehand so that really really shocked me as I contacted my um, tattoo artist set up a date asked about the price um, for these two um, I did have to pay like a reservation fee of 10,000 won which is like 12 13 Australian dollars or like 10 US dollars so it was not that much it just was to make sure that I turn up and all that um, also the prices includes one extra retouch session in case it doesn't look as good or you want some stuff brighter hello Charlie sorry my cat's just here um, so yeah I got these two done at a place in Hyundai. Um, her um, handle is Nabi Tattoo. Her studio was just like this like purple fantasy. It was my first tattoo I ever got it. And there goes my cat. And so I was a little bit anxious. Um, it was a girl. She was really lovely. She was really, really kind. She sat me down and we talked through um, how big I wanted this, what font I wanted this, and how big I wanted this. She also got me to check over the spelling, which is very, very important because you don't want to get an incorrect tattoo of words on your arms. So, really, really important. 
Uh, yeah, so we worked out sizes and we worked out all that and then she got it um, with the purple inky thing. Um, guys, I'm not good with technical terms. Anyway, she kind of printed it onto my skin and got me to sit down. Um, for this too, it took about, I would say, altogether consultation and till the end, about an hour to do. Um, pain wasn't that painful. I was expecting a lot of pain, but it was really, really bearable. Um, and yeah, I just lay down on the table and she did her thing. Afterwards, she applied like a thin layer of like Vaseline like substance and she kind of told me about Africa. Not an expert in tattoo, but the one thing that I know that shocked some of my friends who have had tattoos was that she didn't actually wrap my tattoo. She did tell me to go home and wrap it myself, which I did. Um, so I went home and I wrapped it in glad wrap and kind of washed out for the usual sort of stuff. And then a month later, I went in and I got these two retouched. Um, this guy got a lot of retouching because um, for some reasons, the skin here on my hand was not taking in the ink. So we had a lot of like inconsistencies and dots and if you're hearing a lot of noise that's my cat trying to get through my blinds um charlie charlie so yeah a month later i went in i got retouched mainly on this guy this guy didn't need any sort of retouching um this guy had to like pretty much get filled in again that was a little bit more painful than before but on a scale like one to ten i would say it was only like like a three because I okay so I have um, cartilage piercings and these guys heard like I would say these are like a seven and these are only like three and you know so I, it depends on your pain tolerance um, I thought it'd be really painful but it was really really fine again she was really nice although they do like payments in cash so these two including the retouch ended up being about 150,000 one so like a 150 50 US dollars or 160, 70 Australian dollars, which isn't too bad if you think about it. It's two sessions and it's two tattoos. Um, and I know that sometimes in Australia, even like a small star on your finger can cost up to 100. So I'm really, really happy that these two were not that expensive. The second one I got is, well, like the third tattoo, but the second one I got is this one. It's by a guy called Sodom, and he is, again, I found him on Instagram. If you ever look at his Instagram page, I thought it was going to be a girl, but ended up being a dude, totally fine, all that jazz. He asked me what I wanted. I said I wanted a picture of my cat. So he said, can you send through some pictures of your cat? And I did. And he said, oh, I think this one's the best. And I also agreed. And we decided on that. We decided on the price, which was 250,000 won. And again, includes that retouch session that is paid for. Um, and the reason it's that is because it does have color. So it considers to be a color tattoo. Yeah, again, his studio was in somewhere that looked super, super dodgy. Um, but it was really, really nice inside. Um, and when I arrived, he got me to sit down. He printed out different sizes of my cat and he asked which one I like better. Um, I chose probably like the second smallest and he was like, oh, it's really, really small. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't want it that big. And then he held it up to my arm, was like, are you happy with the position, with the size, blah, blah, blah. I said, sweet, yeah, that's all good. Let's get it going. So yeah, I mean, standard tattoo session, we sat down. We had a heaps of conversation actually because he had come to Melbourne before. So we were chatting, this is all in Korean. Um, he does speak very, very, very minimal English. He said that he wished he could speak more and that he might be visiting Australia soon. So any of you guys watching knows him and wants a tattoo, maybe he might be coming, um, but he did do a studio in Melbourne. Um, yeah, I'll link all their accounts below, by the way, and any accounts that I really, really like that you can get tattoos from. Um, but yeah, this one was probably more painful. I would say this was like a 3 or 4 on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, I had to get this guy retouched because when it started healing and flaking off, um, the eye color was pretty much gone. So I did have to go and get this guy retouched again after a month. Um, he did um, bandages up again and he did suggest um, like a medic medication cream that you can get from pharmacies for it. So yeah, you know, different tattoo places, different treatment. I've never had that much tattoos, so I can't say what's right or wrong, but those are the experiences I had in Korea. 
This guy took a lot quicker than these two, even though it had colour, but he's quite small. Um, he was probably like 40 minutes all up, um, and the retouch session was again like another 30 minutes or so. Um, he mainly did the outline. Overall, I had really, really positive experiences there, um, and I would really, really recommend both of these artists to you. Um, I do have another artist that I really, really like that I'm going to get my next tattoo with, hopefully. Also, another thing about payment is they're okay with you coming there and then kind of getting money out later after you're done and then paying them or you can pay them via transfer if you have a Korean account um, so sometimes they'll give you a quote for a price range approximate and then they'll give you the final price at the end they don't take card they do normally take cash or Korean bank account so either get ready and bring a lot of cash with you or just wait until you're done and then go and take it out of a local ATM Hopefully this is a quick and somewhat informative video on getting tattoos in Korea. Again, I'm not a professional about this. This was just my personal experience in getting tattoos in Korea. Um, again, I could totally just refresh this whole thing when I get more. Um, but overall, I really had a great experience and I really enjoy the pieces that I have on me. And I really, really look forward to adding more pieces. As per usual, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I will try my best to answer them for you. Thank you for watching this one. I will see you guys at my next video, which should be really, really exciting. I was meant to film it this week, but all the stuff hadn't arrived. So, maybe that's a hint for you. Um, but yeah, when it does arrive, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.